Things are getting ugly between the supporters of two competing propositions on the November ballot. And new at 7, Tinder's reporter Nanette Miranda shows us how the battle between the two measures could make losers out of both of them. With Proposition 38 behind in the polls, wealthy civil rights attorney Molly Munger launched a new attack ad slamming a competing tax measure pushed by Governor Brown, choice. Proposition 30, which also funds public education through an income tax hike. It shows Brown's proposal may claim to fund schools, but the money will probably be raided through the back door by politicians. Her brother Charles Munger is also funding a separate multi-million dollar anti-30 campaign. Prop 30 sends money in here, but lets the politicians take it out here. That's why Sacramento's behind it. The governor's campaign staff did not want this to happen. In fact, pro Prop 30 ads have thus far stayed positive. Prop 30 stops the cuts. 30 will restore funding for our schools. I think what the mongers have done is taken their eye off the ball. Uh, this is no longer, obviously, about students and our future and funding our schools. Um, and this is about winning to them. Munger's campaign did not return repeated calls and emails, but in the past has said her proposal to raise the income tax on a sliding scale is better, investing $31 million of her own money so far to get voters to agree. We think the governor uh, doesn't have as good an idea this year as we do. Governor Brown's campaign did not want to reveal their next strategy, but typically you cannot let a negative ad go unanswered. Look, the fact is, we didn't choose this course. What we've got here is a civil war. Steve Maviglio is a Democratic strategist not affiliated with either campaign. He says both initiatives want to help schools with more money, but may end up doing the opposite. At the end of the day, a negative ad really doesn't help either campaign, usually brings both down. So that could mean neither of them pass, which is the worst case scenario for our schools. The stakes are definitely high. If both tax measures pass, the one with the most votes goes into effect. In Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, 10 News.